Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Blasphemous 2. Last time we left off, uh, we fought a new boss way down here. And I think what I want to do today is kind of possibly focus on trying to get up to you by re-exploring some areas. But also, it would be cool to re-explore over here and get a lot of these things that uh, I couldn't get before, so... I'm just gonna kind of hike around the map, see what we can get ourselves into, so... Alright, so here's our first thing. It looks like it's gonna allow us to fall right down here, so let's see what we actually get from this. Boom. Alright, so we can remove those. So what do you got for me? Is it just Tears of Atonement? Oh no, not the chain. Ow. There we go. So... Yeah, what do I do about these chains? I mean, I've never actually tried, like, hitting them or anything before, but... Yeah. Let's put that right there. There is something. Okay, so this is how we actually got back down here. Hi, big friend. Can you, uh... Not... Oh, that's the wrong spell. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, prayers. Yeah, this, this one. Whoop. No, you don't. Alright, there you go. Ow. Whoop. There we are. Thank you, Veredicto. For being a very strong weapon. Ravine of the High Stones, so we're- whoops. Didn't mean to kill you, but oh well. Uh, alright, so from here... I'm guessing it wants me to do right here. Yeah, that would be correct. So that gets us down here. Whoop. God, I do love that attack on Veredicto. It is very strong. Nachimiento. Okay. Can't help but notice this right here. This definitely, definitely needs to be added. Because that's totally something. It's not another room, but it is something. Alright, what is our new figure? Achievemento. There you are. Improves the effects of the bile flask. Ooh, that's good. This pain is unbearable. It's tearing me apart. The elder soon to be born convulses as it tries to escape my chest. I feel his clammy body twist, long longing to exit my own. The one that keeps getting younger and younger. Soon he will be free and I will die. He will rise, his gaunt, frail, shivering body, and will witness my youthful corpse lying at his side. And he will know, as I did before, that he is an heir to my curse, and be forever ignorant to the cause. Hmm. An elder is born from your chest. At first I thought where this was going was the elder was absorbing your life force. And making himself young at the expense of you, but no, you're getting younger. Yeah. And then an old person is getting born from your body- wow, that's wild. That's wild, okay. All right, there's some Tears of Atonement that we just got from over here, so nothing too crazy behind that one. But, uh, hey, it's something. All right, now we're back over here. I actually put this one as a door, so I'm actually going to change it to that question mark thing, because that's, uh, that means chains to me at this point. So, I can go through here, like so. And this will get me Rosa of the Three Stars. Ooh, Fireball. Launches a spreading volley of short-range projectiles inflicting fire damage. Yes, please. That just sounds like a shotgun. Oh my god, it's just a shotgun. Hello, hello spell. Very, very, very effective against bosses. Alright. 
now we are over here, which ooh, I can't do the fall here. I don't have enough height. Okay, so that might be everything we can do up here. We clear we cleared out a fair bit of it. And yeah, we've done all that stuff down there. We've done this. We have one right here I can go do. And then yeah, I think I'm just gonna head back up to green and purple area and uh see what we can do over there, I believe. We also got one mark of martyrdom while I was running around. Just wanted to uh make sure that I mentioned that. RB in midair to perform a quick cross slash. Mm. Activate blood packs, empowers all the hits with additional hits of mystical damage. Charge the gauge by dealing damage. Crimson Ascension. RB at the last moment to unleash a devastating slash. I kind of like just getting this, just because it might be very, very useful in a boss fight since we've heard that it can heal us. But I want to see what Silver Cross gives me. Increases lightning damage inflicted. Galvanic Striker. Alright, so... Now that we've done that... Um... Let's see here... What do I need to do? Uh... Verse. Verse, verse, verse. That's right. So... Back to... Ooh, I don't have enough. I need to find an enemy to whack. Hello? Thank you. Ow. Alright, now I can go back. Thank you. Okay, and we have 10k Tears of Atonement. Once again, not really a ton that I actually want to get. But, uh, we can at least teleport out of here and go grab, uh, some new s well, not, not, not teleport out of here, but we can walk over here. <laughs> um, not totally sure this is gonna work um because that ladder is way over there i don't really have a better way of uh i mean is that gonna work just no yeah i need to get far enough over here to actually hit this i'm not totally sure that i can yeah that would normally be enough to break it, but I don't have a good way of getting down there. It, it seems like it wants me to do that. The only other thing I can think of is if I had like an air dash or something, I would be able to do this. So I'm gonna preemptively put a jump higher there. All right, so we are up here. So I've never actually went this way before. I'm guessing this loops back around to the city of the blessed name. Um, and then, yeah, we can just continue our way over here, I guess. I do need to like proper explore this area. Oh, it doesn't connect over there. Okay. Hi. Um, not dealing with that. Okay, you dorks are not bad. Yeah. You're pretty easy, actually. Okay, and get an execute. Uh-huh. Uh, whoop. Gonna have to... This is not good. Alright. There we go. Whoop. Oh my god, Penitent One. I don't know why you turned that direction, but we're good. Oh, I got a Mark of Martyrdom. Oh, is that... Yeah, that's my whole reward for that. Okay. Uh, what? I just... I had a marker for a character here. Who was here before? Because there's Tears of Atonement here now. I just thought I would come check on it. Oh no, there's, it's a Mark of Martyrdom. Who was here before? Someone was here before. Fuck, I can't remember. 
I can't remember exactly which character this was, but they are no longer here and they appear to have left me some things. That's cool. Yeah, keeping track of all the NPCs is rough. I mean, there's the old couple, there's the, the, the honeybee person. I think that's the honeybee person, that's the old couple, that's the person I upgrade stuff with. Uh, yeah, I don't quite remember who that was. That's the person for the cherubs. Huh. Aha! Okay, here's what I missed. So here, I saw the elevator, but I didn't actually take it because um, I was thinking it just took me back down here but no it takes me on the other side of this wall even though it doesn't really look like it on the map if I was going to expect the elevator to take me to the other side of the wall I would expect it to be this square but it highlights th this square or it was oh okay the map can just be a bit weird sometimes <laughs> so uh there we go cool unlocked a little something something there so, yeah, I mean, I guess this is where we have to go. We, of course, have stuff down here um, that I have opened up. I could have continued there last time, I think, and we do have the, like, ocean I can just jump into as well. But I imagine we're going to get led to those areas <coughs> at some point, possibly for the five doves. Oh, hey, what's up? This crown of majestic buildings was built to study the awe-inspiring glow but hinted at the shape of a basilica once witnessed by fervent worshippers. No one has ever laid eyes upon it again until now. The miracle bestows its blessing upon us all by revealing to us what has long been hidden, invisible and out of bounds. Cast your eyes upon our shop window. I will do just that. Increase resistance to fire damage. I mean, I'll buy it. We have no more items left. But you never know what may turn up on these paths. Pray, come back later, penitent one. Yeah, I mean, resistances to various elements can be useful. Possibly in a boss fight where I'm getting the shit knocked out of me by those elements, so I'm down. Hey, we're almost at 50% map. Uh completion. That's exciting. I'm not going to leave a marker for you because I imagine you're going to leave now that I exhausted your your shop inventory. That's my guess at least. Ow. Okay. There we go. I got to get my Veredicto combos in here. I am getting more used to just using this thing and I do like it quite a bit. Uh, okay... Gotta go fast. Uh-huh. Whoop! Made it. Alright, yeah, I just didn't feel much of a need to bother fighting those idiots. Alright, cool. And this is gonna open up uh, where we need to go down... Uh, over here. There we go. Alright, so... Yeah, I definitely, definitely want to activate that... First. Hmm. There's that as well. Um... Uh, yeah, I, that's not something I can... Hmm. Oh, it's the elevator being weird again. See, that's what was happening with the other one. I thought it would be in this room. But it is technically still this room. So we do have to get back to the top. Yeah, that weird positioning of the elevator is throwing me off there. Alright, let's just get up here and try to hit up the elevator if possible. Just because that would be the most useful thing we could accomplish right now. Uh-huh. Oh, I see. Yeah, let's, let's make sure that stays. Okay. I was like, what does that do for me? But now I realize. Yeah. There you go. And then that pulls the platform down. Good, good, good. 
Ooh, and it's a it's a moving one that continues moving. Cool. All right, so we've done that. Yeah, elevator is next for sure. And then of course we're gonna be heading down to where that is, and that's gonna open up that path, which means I could get back to the Prédu. This area is quite large, but hey, we've got a lot of stuff done this episode. I've been recording for 43 minutes, I'm not sure how much footage that is yet. A lot of it was me just kind of running around. These episodes are so nice, because they're just, they're just soothing. I don't have to worry about anything. Uh, alright, so... There's that done. Now we just go back up. Upsy daisy. Alrighty, so with that, we are good. So what's over here? Hi, I don't know if I want to jump there yet. Can I get a Purdue up here, please? That would be ideal. Very, very cute. Very, very, very cute. Boom. Alright, and this should reach all the way to the store, yeah? There's that broken. Which allows me to go through there. Like I said, hopefully there's a Purdue over here. there. What's down here? This just appears to be an item, which I can get by mirror jumping. Hi. Unfinished lullaby. Fragment of a lullaby written by a mother intended to soothe the cries of, an, of the innocent one. Sleep my child, sleep, don't cry, my voice sings to you. Wasn't somebody asking for a lullaby? I want to say... There was a character, like, over here. You? I think it's you. I think there was a character over there that wanted a lullaby, specifically. So... We'll head over there and see what we can grab. So... I'll do that as soon as I get another prey to you, possibly. Like I said, I, I really just want to have one close by over here, if possible. Alright. Dodge the fire bulls. Uh-huh. Like that. I have noticed a bug sometimes that happens where, um, basically if you switch weapons too fast, I don't know exactly what causes it, but it won't let you attack. It's happened a few times with Veradicto now. When I'm, like, kind of swapping between weapons. <clears throat> I'm not totally sure what causes it, but it's definitely noticeable. But basically all you had to do to fix it is just, uh, swap to a different weapon, so... Not the craziest thing in the world. But, uh, if it catches you unawares, it can be a little bit rough. Alright, so now I just gotta move it back up. Boom. Alright. There. Cool. So now that we've done that, this is going to take me all the way down here to this elevator. Cool. Going to fill in even more of the map. And I think this is taking me to the boss fight. But we have to open this up, so... And there's a few other things for us to investigate over here as well. And this is going to be our, uh, third and final regret. And then, like the game mentioned, there's just the doves to take care of. Hmm. This area looks suspicious, this, like, weird halfway point here. I guess they just need it as a bridge between the two elevators, but... Oh, no. I felt like a little cherub friend could be hiding there. Mm hmm. Item. Interesting. 
So I can grab this. I cannot, however, get higher, though. Another unfinished lullaby. What? There's two? Oh, do I have to get all pieces of it? That would make sense. Sleep, my child, sleep. Don't cry, my voice sings to you. My girl was running along the clear shore under black leaves under long branches. Uh, okay, that's why there's multiples. I see, I see, okay. So we gotta get a full lullaby before that will work, obviously. Alright. Well, let's go hit the prey do you. So that uh, we can get all of our heals back. And then I guess we're gonna go up here and fight a boss. Um, oh yeah, and then the Scorched Lily. Oh, by the way, it's not slightly increase either. It's just increase. Ooh, that's useful. Okay, so we'll have big, big resistance to fire damage, if needed. I can't just swap in the middle of combat too, I suppose, right? Most games won't let you do that, but it is always nice when the game will let you do it, because making it so that you can't swap your items like that in the middle of combat basically necessitates that you have to die to an encounter once. Then you can go in more prepared knowing what you're dealing with. So a lot of the time those items don't get used, but if you can switch on the fly and you remember to do it, it can be pretty effective because you just swap to whatever element you need to, uh, to block it. Let's go ahead and make sure I have that on, why don't we? I guess I didn't need to go to that Prey Dew. I could have assumed there probably would have been one up here. Alright. I can see that. I live again inside this merciless and cold metallic casing. I live in this cage in the shape of what was long ago my body. I live and I feel that I am directed by forces that undermine mine own will. I live, although when I close my eyes in the intimate darkness behind my eyelids, I am still dead. Okay. Okay, starting off strong, I see. Oh, hey, look, it's fire. Remember what I was talking about? Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and replace that. Also, we haven't looked at the lore. Flower with a blackened stem. Ancient tribute found at the foot of a tree growing in the cloister of a convent until the tree, convent, and lily were consumed by flames. Okay, I can still hit you. Uh huh. Cute. Okay. On one more over here. Ooh, you're getting messed up, friend. Very, very adorable. Oh, I missed. God, that lightning damage is eating you up, bud. Holy shit. Okay, I was thinking that was a little bit too easy. Okay. Ooh, okay, I want a little bit of extra range on you, I think. Ow. Okay, and this is my asthma damage, so we're gonna go ahead and switch to this. Uh-huh.
<laughs> oh my god. You poor, th poor thing. Oh, you have no HP left? We're good? Okay, now it's both of you at the same time. So that's why you were so easy. I was wondering... Well, let's take you out first, because you're just going to be annoying to deal with. I was wondering why I was seemingly doing so much damage to them. Now. Oop. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's not good. Okay. Ow. Ow, my god. Okay, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that was a bad spot to be in. Okay. Um, I think I can do that. I was trying to find good times to activate Veredicto, but I just couldn't because there was a lot going on. But if I tighten up the earlier phases, I don't think that's going to be bad at all. Um, I also think I'm going to leave the Scorched Lily on the entire time. Okay, I did not expect that to be a three-phase boss fight. This one is immediately... It has so much more going on than any of the other ones that we did. So... Ow. God, that fire stays around forever. Uh-huh. Okay, let's go right here. Mm-hmm. More of this. Uh, God damn it! I keep pressing the wrong button. There. I keep pressing LB instead of RB to activate Veredicto, so I can do some of that. Ow, you actually got me there. Okay. Maybe Veredicto is not the best thing for this. Like, the range is nice, but... So slow. Which is the main problem. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Very, very cute. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and take the opportunity to heal. Okay, and... What? Hit me? Oh my god. Mm hmm. Not fun. Not fun dealing with two at the same time. Okay, get out of there. That was just a bad spot. Mm. I can just kill you, you little prick. Fucking die! Ah, fucking hell, just die! The little one would just die! God, fucking fuck you! There. You Ornstein and Smo bastards. Okay. Let's be extra careful here. Ow, that's not being extra careful. Okay. Whoa! Holy fuck, I wasn't ready for it. God. Damn, that was close. God, the only other thing that's shitty about Veredicto is no parry. I was trying to swap to get my parry off there, and I just couldn't. I just couldn't. If it had a parry, I would have been fine, but damn, so close to. 
It's that stupid little prick. They jump around and shoot poison darts at you while I'm trying to fight the person that's summoning straight up flame pillars. I'm gonna try just doing this weapon. Because I think it might be more effective, at least against you, in this first phase here. Because you are quite slow. Especially if I can do that and get the extra lightning damage. Yeah. This just seems like such a better weapon than Veredicto, unfortunately. If Veredicto's thing didn't take so long to activate, it would be better, but if you can get the damage buff from this and keep it... Oh my god. Alright. Ooh, I can wail on you while you're coming out? Oh, that's amazing. Alright. Whoop. Ow. Ow! Uh-huh. Do that, you little Sonic the Hedgehog prick. You're dead. Okay, I was about to say. God. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, what I really, really need to do is get big damage going on you. Ow. That was a bad time to heal. Okay, having you both together at the same time like that, pretty fantastic. No, you would jump away right when I activated, you fucker! There we go. And you did your charge. Alright. Now we just charge up on you. And make sure I block when the time comes. Uh-huh. Oh, you're doing another one? I can get my lightning damage charged, like so. Okay, we just lost it, but... Still pretty good. It's fine. We got inside my hitbox, but I think we've got it. Oh, that does nothing to you, as, as expected, because it's fire. <laughs> Let's not use fire on the fire person. Okay, I think we got him this time. It was a surprising fight. I was not ready for everything that it was throwing at me, but we're A-OK. -okay. Whew, okay, three attempts, not that bad. Not that bad at all. Whew. Yeah, I almost had him in that second try, too. Almost, was super, super close. But three phases, um, and having two of them run around at the, at the end there was a lot. <clears throat> but once you could, you know, like, like any duo enemy boss fight, once you take out one of them, usually the one that's very, very annoying and throws projectiles, it's much, much easier. Hi. Be witness to this vigil before my final journey. My body has been returned to me at last. I am now master of this flesh, of this trembling, of this agony. How sweet the pain, when it is our own, penitent one. You, who came to witness the miracle, behold. But the miracle, who bestows and wrests away its grace with inscrutable agency, saw its will tarnished in its prolonged absence. Erring in its newly created work, it conferred on that child as much its own as that of another. The blessing of deformity, it spread throughout our land like a contagion. Its accursed seeds germinating like the wounds that sprout upon the scourged flesh of the repentant. 
Huh. <clears throat> the dying day already puts out its celestial light. Causing my eyelids to droop. You look like those feathered characters we see specifically in this area, and you did say that it was spreading. Interesting. Let the miracle cast open its black gates, so I might venture to where that terrible dream from which one never wakes awaits. I'm glad we managed to beat that boss fight then, because uh, if I if it had taken me a fourth try, I probably would have cut that part, at least part of that one out. But hey, we can get to that area now. Yay! So I'm probably gonna finish exploring the stuff that I've seemingly missed in this area, and then we'll probably end this episode off. Because I still don't know if I have enough footage. Well, well, I probably have enough footage now, but. There we go. The full testimony has been revealed to you, and the counter figure of the witness has at last descended. The three great stone figures of the family have humbled themselves before us all. Yeah, so the three figures are specifically the mother that gave birth, the child, and then the father that asked the miracle for a baby. Raise your eyes as the dazzling beauty of the upper reaches of the City of the Blessed Name welcomes you. Now go forth. Let not doubt leave its vexatious mark upon you. Oh, don't worry, it's not gonna. Alright, so yeah, we can continue. We can continue this way. Alright. So, I specifically ignored this area before because I thought, you know... Um, I thought this was gonna potentially lead to something weird that I didn't want to go to, but... Oh. Oh. Okay. Um... Yeah. You know what? Let's do this. So, I already have one of these put down somewhere for like, oh, there's a strong enemy or something like that. But what I want to do is here, the question mark, I'm going to replace with the skull. Because to me that means like, oh, yeah, if you jump here, you die. And I'll I'll be able to remember that. So, yeah. We'll put that there. I need something that allows me to like jump there. Or there's like hidden platforms or something. I, I don't know. Beats the fuck out of me, alright? Ah, this is where my teleporter was. Ah, I was I was looking for you, teleporter. How nice of you to show up. Well, we can go back to town really quickly. Um, not really much I need to get to town, but not much I need to do anywhere else either. I don't have a kiss. I don't have a knot. Who is that character in the bottom right there? Don't quite remember. I don't have all the parts of the lullaby. I don't have any more sisters, so. Not a whole lot I need to do down here. I wonder if Regina has uh, expanded her shop at all. Also, how many marks of martyrdom do I have now? Three. So, I think with four, I can expand my altar piece, yeah. Was that not the case? I believe it was. All right, and yeah, we still have, um, we still have some, uh, some, some build up, but honestly, I really am just fine with how much forever I have right now. I don't really need the rest of it. The bosses aren't too hard. I mean, Blasphemous has never really been that hard for me in the first place. It wasn't hard. The, the first Blasphemous wasn't too bad for me as far as boss fights and combat went, at least. It was mostly the platforming that was a big pain, so... I wouldn't call Blasphemous too crazy hard. I've definitely played a lot more difficult. It gives a very imposing image, but it's really not that bad in my opinion. So what is this? Door open on the other side. Do some tears. All I gotta do is dodge a few ghosties. That's fine, we can do that. Ooh, it's a Mark of Martyrdom. Hey. Beautiful. Yeah, I suppose what I might want to do, um, 
I think I'm gonna kind of lean off of Veredicto, despite it being my first weapon, just because I do think I like these so much more. Honestly, even the other weapon possibly too, because while Veredicto does have the range, it really lacks in, um... Uh, I guess there's not really a whole lot more for me to explore over here, huh? I guess I found most of the stuff over here. There's just those things up there which requires that I be able to cut the chains. Yeah, so I guess we're mostly done with this place. Obviously there's a few other things to clean up in various places. I probably need more pieces of the lullaby though. I would like to go check on that, so... Let's, uh, let's teleport over there and see what lullaby... What the lullaby mother has to say. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Thank you. Alright, so... Down from here. Yeah, and then we just go straight down. All the way. But hey, like I said, lots of stuff done. But yeah, I might take off the, um... Thing I... Ow. I might take off the thing I have that specifically increases fire damage and replace it with, uh, lightning. Um, and I can- I have that one lightning curse. You just do so much damage when you build up the- the stuff here, which you have to not take damage to do so, or you have to get a parry like that, but that thing hurts so, so much. I still think there's probably going to be some bosses where I would want to use Veredicto instead of this, though. Specifically bosses that uh, are dangerous to get right in the face of. So we'll see. Hey, you. Yeah, you. No answer. Okay. Yeah, I don't quite remember what you said, but like I said, the, the, the lullaby is not finished yet, so... I think we need to find more pieces of that, and then I can come back over here. That makes sense to me. Alright, so... With that, then... I am going to get... The hell out of Dodge. And we... Are going to end this episode off, I think. Uh, how much was it for a new Altarpiece space? I want to say it was five. My hands attain virtue through obedience and constancy. I begin to feel them go numb, as if submerged into an icy sea. They move of their own accord. Now, they are more of the miracle than of me. Alright. Increase? Yeah, it is five. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. So... May that it does just go up by one each time. I was wondering if maybe it maxed out somewhere, but... Nah, and I don't think there's enough on any of these other weapons. That reminds me, I do need to... Oh, what? Silver cross, press RB in midair to perform a quick cross slash with both the rapier and dagger. Damaging enemies. Oh, but you specifically need this active to do it. You can't just do it naturally. Interesting, okay. Well, yeah, I do just like this weapon a whole bunch. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. I forgot to do this attack. Yeah. All right. Well, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.